Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. When creating a hyperbolic or algebraic extrusion via the Extrude menu item located under the Create menu, there are a set of stop conditions that can be specified by users that govern whether the next step of an extrusion proceeds. These conditions are located on the Attributes tab for each respective extrusion type. Within this tab, expand the Stop Conditions frame to display the various conditions themselves. By default, the Jacobian criteria are all enabled. Extrusions which result in cells with negative volumes or are highly skew, by default will not continue to the next step of the extrusion. Using this multi-element airfoil case as an example, if I uncheck each of these Jacobian parameters and proceed to run an extrusion with an initial step size that is too large, then the extrusion runs the user-specified number of steps despite generating cells that are unsuitable for use. Rerunning the extrusion with the Jacobian stop conditions enabled stops the extrusion immediately once it detects a cell has been created that violates one of the Jacobian rules and provides users with a warning about the specific condition that prevented the extrusion from continuing. The display window shows the point or points in the extrusion where the bad cells have been created. Aside from the default Jacobian stop conditions, users can use any of the other available entry fields in the stop conditions frame. To stop an extrusion, if an extrusion has marked a user-specified distance, a cell minimum included angle is exceeded, and or a cell resulting from the extrusion has an aspect ratio beyond a user-specified threshold value. Note, you can specify multiple stop conditions simultaneously. Returning to the multi-element airfoil example, if I specify a distance of 150 into the total height entry field, then this criteria will be used in addition to the Jacobian conditions to stop the extrusion once any of the grid lines exceed this value, despite whether the number of steps that have been set to run has been reached. Both the skewness and aspect ratio entry fields function similarly. And that's all there is to stop conditions to extrusions in PointWise. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.